Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. In episode two, we're gonna start right off with a cool piece of in-game in lore from the BB, our fight. Legends say, once the earth was ruled by humans and there were no mutants at all, even if such tall tales were true, it is long gone. Nowadays, the planet is just a distant periphery of the huge stellar empire fueled by the star gods. Ruled by the star gods, a poor backwater with corrupt government and brainwashed population, rife with crime and opportunity. Mutants and outcasts like us are not loved by anyone, so we choose infamy over their sick and unjust order. They may call us pirates and criminals, but it's better to die free than live for others yeah so that's kind of our our backstory and um it's kind of cool there so you know we set up our hideout last time around there are so many different game concepts to talk about that it's a little bit um a little bit daunting almost um let's just see we don't have any shipping activity going on so um i we're gonna have to kind of tackle these as we go throughout the game but um, we do have the hideout pretty well set up. We've got our ladies and lasses ready to go. I am recording this the same day as I recorded episode one. So this is Wednesday night and I'll probably have this ready Friday morning. Um, but I do want to, again, thank everybody for watching and giving any hints and tips. I will be picking those up. Uh, I will be bringing you in as you have as you sign up. So feel free to put your name in those lists but really i'd like to see if we can get some contact get some action going oh, very small very low south and he's going west so this is one of the things i noticed he's going west well our bonnie is as beautiful and as wonderful as she is she's a slow lass so we actually have to kind of be um a bit deliberate about it now let's go chase and that thing is going oh it's speeded up so it's getting away from us yeah it was going slow at first hmm i think it's probably going to outfly us we'll lose track okay let's lay a new course let's go out beyond it and see if it turns around somewhere pick it up in the ship radar i don't really know all right, let's go out a little further. Let's just see where we're flying by. Witch Haven, Crossroads, the Black Citadel, the Bastion. Okay. And the Eurasian Autonomy, Black March. Oh. Maltov Cocktail Production at Shangri Shanghai Grilla is complete. Yes. Okay. We are going to go right into making the grog. Mix a grog. X grog. Um, it's 250 wor 240 work hours cost to make it 600 you can sell it for a bit so we'll do that um actually i do want a few for our crew five i don't know why five always seems like a good number to me we'll make that and that'll take five days it takes a day a day to make a grog with 10 runs okay i'm okay with that all right so we did not pick up that ship again let's go back to your hideout um, I really, one of the things I noticed is that I burned through a ton of fuel. The nuclear fuel, fuel that we have, um, whenever we research it, it's basically Illyrium 114, 115, but, um, you only have a limited supply at the beginning, and unless you get really lucky and get some ships, you may end up with almost no fuel. I was chasing everything around. Okay, here comes all our gear. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Sweet. Actually, I want to um, I want to check out the Bootypedia for the field field medic kit, field surgery. Okay, bandages. That's three heals and six heals per wound, ten uses per battle. Okay, so that is a big one, but we'll, it will give us a chance. I probably didn't need to use it. The grog actually does a really good job of this. Um, it's it's a huge barrel. <laughs> it's a huge barrel, um, and so you it's kind of rugged to hold up to uh, hold on to and use. But um, 
Healing removes one fatal wound per use and restores up to three hit points, restores a lot of energy, and brings the stunned pirates back to a vertical position. Stand over your fallen comrade to pour it on her. Eight stun and 20 energy it, it restores. Um, Painkiller, restore loss of morale to injuries. Does not restore morale loss due to other causes. Actually, this is a good way to take care of all that smoke inhalation I was dealing with. Ha! Huh. Good to know! Good to know! But, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so that's that. We're building some more stuff. One of the things I do set up on my games is I have my, um, have the option on to have the funds showing here. And as we are making grog, it will tick down, um, there we go, we just ticked down the two, uh, six hundred dollars or whatever it was to make a grog, but as you, um, start to sell them, you actually see the money start to go up, so that's good. Okay, here come my, here come my dogs! Okay, so let's go ahead and equip the pooches. I want to. Fisticuffs, no. Shovels, let's put some more in there. Let's grab a couple bill hooks. I don't really want the chainsaw. Don't really want the muskets or flint locks. RPG, get them. HE grenades, more. High explosives. Field surgery kit. Electro flares, all of them. And let's get a grog in there. Aye. Okay. So there's that. That'll be good. That be good. All right. Production of the. Whoa, we sped right through there. Okay, so let's get this fixed up and start making it for profit. All of them. Sell it to infinite. I. Okay, so we're at thirty-seven thousand, and as the days go by, we should start to see that money go up. Forty-three. Whoa. So we sold one, and that made us almost six thousand ish. Okay, spring cleaning. It's our first, our first tech breakthrough. Eighth of January. Zero zero uh, number zero zero one. Now, while dusting off old data and kicking the rats, yummy, out of storage cabinets, we found a decryption program that broke the code on a data disk. We've also found. Here you can see the image, an image, and a number. There are many such libraries of knowledge, and grabbing each will be a solid boost to our fame. Data disks can sometimes be seized from our enemies. Some can contain the data we've mentioned. Other, most others will describe some piece of technology or equipment. Much has been lost in this wild world we inhabit. While a stellar empire has brought technology, it, has also, it also took away our means of understanding it. We can tinker, match, and mix, but not really improve. To change it, we need to find out, either physically through disks or random interrogation of anyone who seems smart, the knowledge of old earth books, and then start the back to school project. So basically we're starting off in almost a pre-industrial society. Maybe not quite pre-industrial, but it's definitely um, a society that is going to be um, fairly primitive and one that uh, we need to kind of regain tech. Um, so that's kind of cool. All right, allocate research. What do we want to research with our dude? So nuclear fuel, that might be good. Basic bullet manufacturing, flintlocks and bombs. That's actually, I think, probably a good one. Um, this might be the same one that was known as the cookbook? Cooking? Cookbook? Um, I don't remember what it was called. I saw it in... Um, Dioxines Let's Play video. Alright, so we've got our guys researching flintlocks and bombs. Alright, day slow, small, very, very low. Northeast. Okay, I don't know if we can catch him, but let's try. He's going that away. He's going away from us. Come on, Bonnie. Uh, we got our dogs. We got our stuff. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're overtaking him. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that, okay, if this type of ship is not bad, but there are small ones that are really bad. Oh, doggone it! Yappin', go, full broadside, take them in. Direct hit, we be fired at. 
Them shipping crashes and burns. Are you be ready for battle? Nay. Let's not be ready for battle in the night when the day cometh. And we shall in we shall join with them scallywags during the day. Oh my god, I'm talking like a pirate. <laughs> Too much fun. Okay. I think now we can set the course. I am so looking forward to going on a mission that may be actually winnable. We'll see though. Um They can be get tough, so let's just see here. So seize your booty. Crash site one. We arrive at the crash site, Captain. Likely many of the scurvy dogs survived the landing and won't give away their booty without a fight. Too bad for him. If, however, things go south for our crew, remember that anyone not on board while you take off will be lost. Aye. Okay, so here's our attack dog. We've got our grog. Look how big that is. It's awesome. Um, RPG. I don't think I'm gonna arm an RPG yet. Two attack dogs. Long Joan. I think... What's it? Stabby? Hmm, somebody, uh, Monstrous Melody. Yeah, I think we'll leave you there. Oh, where's my hammer? I didn't, I didn't load up the hammers. Blast, okay. Well, um, all right, let's give some of the gals who have some extra weight some of the granadas. Grenades and oh smoke grenades blast drat and blast I didn't load my smoke grenades oh, I, I wasn't really thinking okay we're gonna have to go in with this one as we've got it okay, 42 you've got your boarding you're a little bit overweight but we're gonna prime that and toss it out we're gonna use a lot of smoke as cover fat mama okay fat mama here you can have a grenade um, and I didn't put Molotovs in there either. Nice. Good job, Ivan. Good job. Ivan Moments in Episode 2. Uh, Demon... Roland Demon, whoever you are, you will be renamed. I like the red hair, though. It's looking good. Um, okay. You got a grenade. Rockin' Calamity. You can use some stuff here. Oh, uh, I think I'll give you Machete because I don't think you had very good accuracy so between the two of them you might be able to kill and just okay I like it let's just let's just go what could possibly go wrong I thought we landed during the day crying out loud crikey okay so we have multi-story farmhouses we've got a smoking little thing there we've got barns all right um yeah, who's got a smoke grenade? You do. Stanky cap. Good. Let's get it smoked. Now, if I am correct in this, this is the new smoke. Uh, who made the smoke? Um. Oh, geez, I don't remember who provided the smoke. This is really, uh, one of the modders has some smoke that's not as as much of a nuisance as the standard smoke. Okay, uh, I want to get up, and I want to get up. Who's got my boarding gun? This is lovely. Look at this. The Bonaventura has a hatch on the top. You can run somebody up to the top of the Bonnie and peek out, and you can snipe from there. It's, like, amazing. So, right off the bat, we're not spotting anything. That's okay. The other thing you can do is you can toss things out of there, throw things, blow things up. It's really cool. And actually, uh, Josephine, you're, don't, you're not packing any Molotovs. Captain is. Uh, how about Stabby? Stabby's got some time. Yep. All right. Step back here. No. Um, Stabby. I would like to light some things on fire over here, maybe because so this is it's it's a grenade but it's really actually kind of a launchable single-use consumable fire item incendiary if you will so that's gonna give me a little more light which is probably good come back over here um, I like it I like it let's grab another one all right stinky I'm, I'm gonna let the the first turn go by because uh, I want to let the enemies expend some of their
time units. Long Joan, Rolling Demon, you can come out here, Galbrush. You also have a Smoke Grenade and Rockin' Calamity. Alright, I think, Lassies, let's give you the, let's give the enemy a turn and see what goes up. Okay, this is the corner of the map, okay. Possibility there is a bad guy there. More possibilities there's bad guys here, bad guys here for sure, and some bad guys here. Alright, cross his fingers, clicks the button. Okay, so those click clicks were doors of barns. Those were not UFO doors. So if you'll notice, this is a whole different kind of smoky look. Um, maybe Robin did this uh, for his open XCOM or his. Oh, all right, here we are. Our first candidate for some hmm special attention. We have insight a human type person in personal armor um, having been somewhat acquainted with these types of of characters before I know that they're not necessarily easy to handle uh, basically we would have to get behind them and hit them with something really big in order to do much damage when I Priscilla you're not you're not packing a a Molotov. I was thinking I could toss some Molotov under here and maybe cook him a bit. Um, okay, so Stanky, come check this buildings out then, if you would be so kind. Alright, I haven't seen anything here, and we heard doors open, but I didn't see anything here. Um, that hammer is, let me tell you, one of the most beautiful ways to get into a building you've ever seen. Okay, Stabby. Uh, let's go one more. Go down one more, Roxas. I want you to... Ah, uh, too far. Well, it will spread. Go that way, then. Um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, cross-eyed Nikki, you have one. Let's see if you can do better. Go there. Aim shot it to 30%. It's not really good. Ooh, nice though. Okay, so the terrain is on fire where he is, and it may or may not have an effect on him. I don't know. We'll we'll find out. All right, cross-eyed Nikki. Um, unfortunately, poor Nikki is rather low when it comes to uh, accuracy. I I'm just saying, you know. It might be desirable, but I don't know if accuracy would be really desirable or not. Okay, not seeing anybody there. I don't really... <sighs> These... It's just so tense. These missions just get tense. Cutlass Josephine! Hmm, what have you got? What have you got in your pockets? You got a decent arm. And that blunderbuss is sweet. It's a sweet action rig. It's got a... It's a close-up weapon. Um, and um, many of you, I I presume, will have watched my other ep my other series called uh, Let's Play Open XCOM Up Close and Personal. Let me just say this about that. I can honestly say that in the few hours I played this game, I already have a whole brand new appreciation to up close and personal that I never, never had. Uh, this game really requires you to get up close and personal. With, I mean, you know, the main effective weapons as you start being melee weapons or, you know, very short range weapons, uh, yeah, this series could, could have been pirates up close and personal. <laughs> Oh, eventually we will get better weapons and we can, we'll have a little more uh, standoff range, hopefully. But, um, let's see, dog, let's get you over here helping the gals. You would be so kind. Hooch. Okay. Yeah, you're inhalating the smoke too, aren't you? You're going to pass out if you hang around in there. Okay. Looks like we may not have the way there. 
We're gonna have to storm this way. Oh god, there's a whole nother building. I don't really have good building destroyers. Alright. Boarding gun. One eyed prissy. Oh, we can shoot at him too. Yeah. I guess that's a thing. 22. And we hit him. I think. We put around maybe through this window. But I'm not going to stick around up here for her to get sniped out by... Whoop! Number two. Ooh! Glad we spotted that joker. Oh, now he doesn't look like he's wearing as advanced armor. Um, okay. But nonetheless, I do want to get down out of his sight. Alright, what have we got here that might... Might get a shot at him. Um... Aim shot? I can't see. Can't can't see him come. All right, I get you. Let's drive this way. Uh, we're just doing a lot of spinning. Yeah, not so good. All right, back in with you. Okay, and um, I would love to be throwing things right now at that guy. Uh, instead, I think we'll run another quick bladed lassie over here. Uh, Roland Demon, carrying a cutlass. Yeah, come on over there like that. Ball bat. And Galbrush Threepwood, that's, you are just... Man, you're going to be a great melee attacker. Yeah, you don't have enough time to get there, but... You could get over here. Decent amount of stamina, too. Okay. Hope you didn't get sniped from behind. You look there, Cutlass. You've got enough time for a snapshot. And if your reactions are good, are your reactions good? They're decent. You may actually get a snapshot and damn it, down that guy with this weapon. I'm not saying that it's likely, it's just possible. You don't have a lot of timeliness left, and we know that that makes a difference on whether or not reaction fire happens. All right. Rockin' Calamity. You and your billhook. You've got a lot of timing it, so... That's nice. Okay, I think I'm going to move you to this end of the ship. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, guys, cross his fingers. Dog's over there. And Long Joan, Silver. Get over here. Alright, go. Whoa. Firing at us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why am I so delighted by this? Josephine, if you would do me the honors. You are facing him. Now, I hope that we have fixed our melee um, bug where... Oh, he killed him. Well, that's right. Um, I just looked that up. The pipe is concussive damage, which is more like HE than it is stun. <laughs> Um, I may have needed the handle for that. Well, we dropped him down pretty quick. And actually, Pooch, oh, we spotted number one. Ooh, he's over there. Okay, Poochie, what do we have in our pockets? Oh, a harpoon gun. A credit chip. Uh, stun bolts. Hmm, that could be useful. And a dead. <laughs> I like how the corpses are called deads. Okay. Where do we go with you? Oh! Reaction fired and taken down. Now, I've got this problem here, and it's that this fence is up. Otherwise, I could rush him and melee attack him. Um, how about the boarding gun? We hit him once. He's been on fire. Look down here. Anyone? No? 
Okay, up again. Look down there. You can spot him. 45. Uh, one-eyed Prissy. Do we take another shot? No, we don't. We dodge back in. Because we're conservative like that. Um, I don't know how that's supposed to help us, actually. Um, when we're really supposed to be more piratical and... Okay, cross-eyed Nikki. Hmm. I don't think you're going to have much chance at shooting them. But... I'm willing to take some shots with you. Okay, 19%. Did we just put a hole through there? We did. That's actually pretty good, because now... Oop! Took a shot back good, so that's reaction fire gone. Okay, run back. Alright, stabby. If I ran you to there, you probably don't have the stamina. Okay, I don't think that'll work. Uh, Cutlass Josephine, no. Monstrous Melody, can you get there and still hit him? Probably not. Uh-oh, we're going to find out. Well, you stopped automatically. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, let's not do that. Not yet. Okay, um, Gal Galbrush... Let's go ahead and cover ourselves with some more smoke. Come over here and do me the favor of putting some smoke into that field. All right. Okay. Josephine. It's an auto shot. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's like this um, amazing shotgunny auto shotgun hand cannon thing all right um dog 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 come over here dog it feels like their movement is kind of funny herky jerky i'm not sure why that is I'm not quite sure why that is fat mama I don't think you can run there. And actually, he looks like he might be on fire, so that's actually good. Whoa. If your stamina was up there... Oh, dang it. Okay, yeah, we keep peekabooing. Run back this way. Some of these lasses are probably going to fall down with smoke inhalation. Um, and I'm kind of okay with that, too. All right. Uh, J-Stank... Stabby. Hmm. Huh. That's convenient. Let's light them more on fire. Aim shot. Because more fire might be good. I kind of like these. Um. Can we send another one over here? Not enough time units, huh? Okay. Never mind. Never mind, go back a little bit. Cross eye, Nikki, okay. Prism, what have you got in your pockets? Your decent shot. Kind of had intended to. Alright, let's get this smoke out here. You're weak, though. Let's get you out here. Prime the grenade, and then next turn we'll throw some more smoke over here so we can storm the, uh, the craft and these. Oh, Jesus, one big long barn. All right, this is going to be a little more involved than I had hoped. Well, that's okay. 30 minutes. Um, We're at 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. I know it's kind of a cliffhanger. We're just getting into it. We did down one guy with a pipe. Thank you, Josephine Meridian, for thumping that guy. Um, I would like to down this guy. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. We'll probably rush him next turn, or maybe toss some hand grenades. We'll see. Um, and we'll see how many of our gals make it out of here. It is a small craft, but we still maybe eight enemies or more on this map. But uh, I do thank you for joining me 
for this second episode of Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. You have been delivering broadsides with Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!